going? Hi everyone. Good morning or afternoon or night, whenever you're watching this. Uh, for today's video, I wanted to share with you my natural everyday makeup routine. I know we're all in self-isolation and quarantine right now, but on days when I need to be productive, even if it's just around the house, I like to put on a little bit of makeup. It just helps to boost my mood, helps me feel more productive throughout the day. And I think this is a habit that I developed when I was working in an office full-time I would always do my makeup in the morning before going into work. Don't get me wrong, I love the days where I can just be a couch potato also, but for days when I want to be productive, I do try and put on like a little bit of a face so I don't look as tired as I feel sometimes. This video is sponsored by Orsay Cosmetics, so I'm gonna share one of their products with you that I've been using for the past couple of months, actually. Um, and I just wanna send a quick thank you to Orsay Cosmetics for continuing to work with me, especially at a time like this. I am super appreciative, and thank you to you guys for continuing to watch my videos and support. It really means a lot, especially now that you're choosing to spend your quarantine time with me. So anyway, if you wanna see how how I do my natural makeup routine, then just keep on watching. So I've already primed my face using Arborean's Glow Creme Illuminating Face Cream. This is a really pretty primer. It gives off a really nice glow and has some iridescence in the formula. Now moving on to foundation, I'm going to be using this one from Orsay Cosmetics. I'm in the shade 030 Illum, and this is actually a serum foundation. So it's a makeup product and skincare product in one. It's been dermatologist tested to be non-comedogenic. It's great for sensitive skin, doesn't clog the pores. One of its main ingredients is hyaluronic acid, which is a really great hydrating ingredient, so it doesn't dry out your skin throughout the day. It has medium to buildable coverage, which I love. I love when I can just use a foundation throughout the day and skip the concealer because I can just build on that product. And Orsay's whole philosophy is about providing Asian women with the foundation shade that works for them. So compared to a lot of other Asian foundation brands that I've tried, they do have a wider range than most other brands that I've seen. So I did have a little red spot, a little pimple like right here. I'm gonna go in with another layer to cover that up. I'm also gonna do a little bit more under my eyes. I have two favorite things about this foundation. First of all, it's the coverage. It has amazing coverage. It's still really lightweight and it's really comfortable. The second thing that I really love about it is how it glows. Like it has this like luminance to it that makes it look really pretty on the face. I don't even wanna put any setting powder on top of this because I love the way that it just makes my face glow and shine and I just feel like a dewy little dumpling. So I'm just gonna leave it like this without any powder. So this foundation is on the higher end of the price range. It's $89, but that's because it is a serum foundation. It comes with a lot of really great ingredients. It's a skincare and makeup product in one. So as you're wearing your foundation throughout the day, it's actually helping to improve your skin. So if you have the money to splurge on a really great foundation, I would highly recommend this one. I've been using this I think for about two to three months now. I use this in my Not Your Baby makeup tutorial, which might actually be one of my favorite tutorials ever. But yeah, if you guys are interested, I will leave all the links down below so you can get more information on Orsay if you want to. Now I'm going to move straight onto my brows. For brows, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I think my brows, that's the one makeup product that I need to have, I think, because my brow hairs are so sparse and I really messed them up when I was younger like I definitely over plucked them and they just never really grew back so I do need my brows to be like on point to feel pretty good about the day I just love filling in my brows I think it's a really soothing part of the process to like bring it to life <laughs> bring myself to life and I feel like I've done it so many times that I can do it pretty quickly now this might be a really obvious tip for doing brows, but especially if you're using the pomade, just always make sure that your brush is clean and that it's not clumpy or filled with old product because that's when my brows just end up looking not as good because it's so hard to disperse the product and to get it off the brush. So the brows are done. I'm going to contour now. I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in Amber. I think you've seen me use this a few times already, but I'm just going to apply this down the nose bridge and also around the sides of my face. 
And then I'll use a sponge to blend this product in. And using a sponge is pretty quick and I feel like it gives off a really natural look. Everything just blends in really well. So I just work it in like that. Now we're gonna move on to blush. I'm going to be using the Kaja Beauty Cheek Stamp and this is in 01 Koi. I find this is the most neutral shade out of the entire blush collection that they have. And this comes with a blush stamp that's heart-shaped, which is really cute, but I actually don't like the stamp that much. It's just really tough. So I'm actually going to use the sponge again and press it into this other sponge and then just dab it on the cheeks. It has a really pretty shade, like it's not too much. It's just really natural looking. So I just like to press it in with these dabbing motions very lightly and then going up a little bit towards the temples. Now, while I have you this close to my face, I'm going to be doing highlighter. I love adding highlighter even on natural makeup days because I love a subtle highlight look. I never go too heavy with the highlighter. I think it just looks really pretty when you catch like a glimpse of that shine and that glow and that shimmer. I love it. So I do love doing highlighter on a natural everyday makeup Look, I'm going to be using an old favorite of mine and it's this one from Burberry. This is their rose gold highlighter and it is just so pretty to me. It's like a really pretty like pink shade, but it's also not too pink, so it's just perfect. It's a really nice like warm toned highlighter. So I like using a fan brush and going over the product because I find that this is how you get the most natural highlight and I'll go over the cheekbone area per usual and it just adds like an extra bit of shine kind of bring that up towards like my eyebrow like the end of my eyebrow i also love adding it down the nose bridge you can also add this to like the high points of your face like here i don't tend to do that area too much but oh my god i'm glowing I haven't known what to do with my hair recently. I think I'm going to grow it out because I miss just having long black hair, but I also really do love this color too. So I've just been really conflicted and like, I don't know. I don't know why recently I've been feeling like I don't know how to style it. So like, <laughs> anyway, back to my makeup. So on natural makeup days, I actually don't do any eye makeup whatsoever which is funny because I either go all out on the eye makeup or no eye makeup at all. And I don't know, I'm really happy about that. I never thought I'd get to a day where I would feel comfortable like just in my bare monolidded eyes. So yeah, it's nice. I feel like I just have to say that for all my other monolidded girls out there. That's a shout out to you. But I am gonna give it a little bit of help. Sometimes I just like to curl my lashes. I don't even put any like mascara on or anything. I just like curling them and giving them a little perk. It's like a really subtle difference, but I don't know, I just like curling it. And sometimes I find the curl, like my lashes stay curled throughout the whole day when I don't apply mascara, cause you know, there's no product like pulling it down. And I don't know, I just like curling it. <laughs> Lastly, for lip color, um, I have really pale lips, so I feel like a zombie sometimes when I don't have any lip color on. And on natural makeup days, I love wearing shades that are like more neutral, like nudes or um, light pinks. I feel like those look really well and add a really fresh pop of color. So today I'm going to be using this one from M Cosmetics. This is their Magic Hour Balm and it is such a pretty pink and it goes really well with my skin tone, which is why I like it. And this is a balm, so it's gonna help hydrate my lips throughout the day as well. And here is the final makeup look. I love how the Orsay foundation makes my skin look super radiant and that the formula has skincare ingredients as well. So if you're interested in learning more about this foundation, again, I will leave all the links down below in the description box for you to check out. So that's pretty much it for this video and my natural everyday makeup look. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy. Thank you for spending your quarantine time with me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.
Walking downtown and I'm okay He's got it all figured out That's what they all say, yeah 